Hi, this is Kerry here at Corny's tonight. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick demonstration of, uh, well, possibility of what could happen in uh, today's motors, the way they've changed. We have direct fuel injection, and then we decided to go with a 08 and a 016 motor oil. Most of you have not heard of that. Uh, they have to be synthetic to be able to reach those levels. But what happened with that creation uh, between the direct and fuel injection and uh, a thinner oil, the pistons uh, were having a pre-ignition problem. It's a low speed pre-ignition. Some of you may remember the days you'd go up a hill and you'd hear your motor ping uh, inside. That was pre-ignition. Well, this is happening at a lower speed, causing uh, much more damage uh, because of the lower speed. This is a picture of a piston. Uh, here's where the valves go down in, in case that one doesn't clear. But anyways, this is probably from a V8. But what happens, your spark plug is sitting up here, and the fuel air ratio uh, will come in and fire at the correct time. Whenever this piston is coming up, it fires and sho shoves it down for your power. But what's happening, pull this up here a little closer for you, these rings that you can see popping up there, right up here at the top, there's one for oil, one for uh, keeping the compression, and all that's supposed to keep that oil down in behind where that fuel air ratio is coming in because it's hot enough that it can actually fire it. Well, that's what's happening before the fuel air ratio is getting in there and just before the spark plug fires, this is firing that uh, fuel air ratio the oil is getting by this ring. The problem was the oil itself. Uh, being hot, of course it fires it, bam, hits this piston, can actually bust it of course, that's going to cause an awful lot of damage. A lot of metal instantly put through your motor and it had to be torn down. So that was a real issue. Uh, Amswell was told that we need to solve this. Uh, the engineers were just plain out told, fix it. Most companies will have a budget on this. Amswell went to the engineers and literally said, fix this problem. And they fixed it. Uh, unusual for that to happen that way, but the engineer, I listened to him talking about it, he said, I came up with an idea, and I was told I couldn't do that. Well, if he was like I am, that's just like I'm going to try harder. And sure enough, that's what he did. He solved the problem through five testing sequences that GM requires. Uh, the event didn't happen, meaning that the oil didn't get by these rings and caused the fuel to fire, oh, excuse me, fire premature, again causing severe engine damage at times. So Amsoil has now continued that standard through even down to their OE level oil, which is their less expensive oil, but still full synthetic, still a high quality, and they're putting it through all their grades. 0, 20, 530, I'm seeing it. So instead of having to worry about whether it's going to be compatible with your new motor, because they are going to have different grades, Amsoil has solved that issue also. The good news for us as consumers, the problem is not costing us any more money. You want to make sure that, like in Amsoil's case, they have it written right on the container, advanced engine protection. And I'll tell you another quick story. They took their oil to GM to get the GM certification, and GM didn't like the amount of, uh, one thing, they didn't like the amount of cleaning solvents they were using. So they didn't pass it. But the whole time, the Amsoil oil is better than what GM had. Was the opacity to be okay as far as wear factors and everything? They were saying, we don't want that oil because you have to, too much detergent in it. Well, Amsoil said, too bad, we're not lowering our standards to you. So they still have their quality grade oil. And actually, the OE has a 45% better wear protection than its next competitor. That's a big deal. Even on an OE oil level, which we sell at $7 a quart installed. So again, Amsoil is just doing its thing. They reach to be the best. And I'm not going to sit here and scream their best because you're going to have to try it for yourself like I have. It's been working just great here at our shop. I know it's protecting the motors the best as possible, just from my own experience. So come into Corny's anytime and have your oil changed. Give me a, give me a holler on the phone. Or you can go to my website, it's carriesyntheticlubes.shopamsoil.com. Or you can contact me on Facebook, hit the little button above there, and I'll hook you up with this, and you can change it at home. 
You have everything you need to understand what you need to do. Appreciate you spending your time with me. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget, make sure if you have a new car that you are using, them. you'll see the SPI designator, low speed pre-ignition prevention on that bottle. Thanks again. We'll see you on Thursday.